So here's a cross peen. Um, the peen is perpendicular to the handle. A uh, straight peen would be in line um, with the handle. This is a left-handed diagonal peen, which um, it acts as a straight peen, uh, ergonomic straight peen in the right hand, and a cross peen in the left hand. And a right-handed diagonal would be opposite of that. Rounding hammer is a domed end and a flat planishing face. Um, all of the faces, on all the hammers, the flat face is slightly crowned with relieved edges uh, for smoother forging. This is what a cross peen would do. Um, you see it's lengthening the material, it's not widening it that much. Um, and then you would go back with the planishing face and smooth all those ripples or, you know, waves out of the material. Very controllable. This would be what a uh, rounding hammer would do if you're just trying to draw something out in a line with it. Um, it's basically making indentations where the material's spreading 360 degrees around that domed face. Not as controllable, uh, but there are some strengths. Here again is the cross peen, and the straight peen would act the same way, you just change the body direction. Um, it's lengthening, lengthening the material a lot more than it's uh, widening it. But you can, um, say if you want a fishtail scroll at the end of something, you can widen, you just have to change where you're hitting. Here's the rounding hammer, uh, trying to do the same thing. It's not really doing all that much. Um, it's spreading it uh, all around that domed end. So for like a leaf or a spoon, something like that, it does very well. Here's a strength of the rounding hammer, um, is moving material in, you know, three directions at once, um, say on a shoulder right there on a knife. And this is actually what it was made for, is turning material the hard way um, on, the, on the thicker dimension, such as a horseshoe. Um, that's why it was called a turning hammer. Hopefully that helps. Thanks.